Hey, Shalom, Mark Evans with Kama Kapash. Okay, we'll start by giving all honor, praise, and glory to Yahweh by Shem, Yahweh Shai, by Shem, Mark Kadash. That we're honored to the elders, the apostles, the demons, and honored to the brothers and the high risen buyers teaching the truth and all sincerity. Okay, you know, we're, we're you know, ever drawing closer to, 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 to the end of this of this kingdom, man. Everything's in disarray. You know, things are just getting more and more fragmented in this world that we live in. Everything's getting more and more crazy. Okay, this world you can see is, the world is really being teared apart, man. And this is all prophecy. This is all the most high is doing, man. This is all part of the end times, man. Okay, you know you can't be, you know, denying what's happening in the world right now, man. It's, it's chaos, man. And it's you know it's only going to get worse. Okay, but the people that are going to you know come out on top of this, you know, are, are the Lord's chosen, the Lord's elect. Okay, the Israelites. Okay, because the Lord is you know he's going to this king is being brought down for us to rise, man. You know, because when Yahweh Shai returns, he's gonna he's gonna take over the earth. Okay, we're gonna rule, you know, by by his side, man. Okay, or underneath him, you know, so to speak. Okay, we're all gonna be kings and priests on the earth, man. As the scriptures say. Okay, so this place is being taken down, you know, one part, one bit at a time. Okay, so the kingdom of heaven can be established, man. Because for for the kingdom of heaven to be established. This place must be destroyed first. And this kingdom is being destroyed as we speak, man. And you need to continue to see that and witness it. As, hey, there's, there's tough times ahead, man. You know, we're going to read from the book of Jeremiah, <clears throat> um, chapter 51. You know, and we, yeah, we're just going to read through it, man. You know, get precepts and stuff, okay? We want to start there. Uh, from 1? Yeah, let's start from 1. All right, Jeremiah 51 and 1. Thus saith the Lord, Behold, I will raise up against Babylon and against them that dwell in the midst of them that rise up against me. A destroying wind. Okay, and that destroying wind is talking about that nuclear destruction, man. Okay, which is what is going to, you know, ultimately end America, man. Yep. Okay. In World War Three, nukes are going to be used. Okay, I know you've got people, some people out there thinking that it can't happen because it's just a ludicrous idea. But guess what? They're, you know, you ain't in charge of the show. Okay, these, these politicians and these rulers of these countries are not in charge of the show. Okay, and the Most High is in charge of the show. Okay, and the Most High has ordained it for these, these missiles that have been created by, by Esau, okay, to be used upon himself. Okay, specifically America, man, to be destroyed. Okay, yep, or not. And will send unto Babylon fanners that shall fan her and shall empty her land. For in the day of trouble they shall be against her round about. Mm hmm. Against him that bendeth, let the archer bendeth, bend his bow, and against him that lifteth himself up in his brigadine. brigadine, and spare ye not her young men, destroy ye utterly all her host. Yep. Thus the slain shall fall in the land of the Chaldeans, and they that are thrust through in her streets. Yep. So Esau. America, you know, their kingdom is finished. Okay, then the Lord's gonna make an end to America first and foremost, but he's gonna make an end to a whole of Esau's kingdom, man. His so-called white people's kingdom is, is at his end, man. He's is, is, is dying, okay? And the most High are gonna put them, them now is in the coffin, man. Okay, yep. Yeah, they're gonna, um, they're gonna suffer militarily, economically, Everything is going to yeah. take a big um, shutdown, big, so to big speak. Big fucking L. A big fall. Or an end. Mm -hmm. It says, verse 5, For Israel have not been forsaken, nor Judah of his power. Okay, so we ain't got to worry, man, because the Lord, you know, he's going to protect his elect. Okay, it's only the other nations that have got to worry, man. Okay, because their, their, their kingdom is over. Okay, but we have not been forsaken. Because, you know... That, that judgment coming from God, man, that destroys, it's going to destroy the whole earth, okay, and destroy these people, okay, but we have not been forsaken. The Lord has mercy upon Jacob, you know, the, you know, uh, is, it an, um, is it Amos where he, he speaks about, only, only you have I known of all the nations, so I will punish you for your iniquity, okay, the Lord hasn't, hasn't, um, um, hasn't forsaken us, man, he, he's been correcting us in measure, man. You know, but these nations, they're going to feel the full force of the Lord, man, and his indignation. Okay? You got something there? Yeah, Revelation 7. Uh, 
Um, yeah, Revelation 7 and uh, 3. Start from 2. And I saw another angel ascending from the east, having the seal of the living power. And he cried with a loud voice to the four angels, to whom it was given to hurt the earth and the sea. All right, so that's destruction. But the angel said, saying, Hurt not the earth, neither the sea, nor the trees, till we have sealed the servants of our power in their foreheads. So like the brother was saying, man, um, you know, that, that judgment's only going to affect you other nations and two-thirds of the nation Israel. Yep. But um, separate, separate from that, the elect, the Lord's chosen men, they're not going to suffer that, um, that judgment, all right? Also known as the second death. Mm -hmm. That's right. They're okay. going to have the seal of our Heavenly Father, which is the exemption of, uh, of, um, of judgment. Because right. we're going to receive the Lord. mercy of the Heavenly Father, man. Okay, he's not judging the whole world. He's just judging the majority, man. That's why he left the remnant. That's why he left his elect. Okay, they're going to be, you know, catered for, man, protected in that day. Okay? Yep. Uh, back to Jeremiah 51 and uh, 6. Uh, uh, so, for, for Salakia, 5. Jeremiah 51 and 5. For Israel have not forsaken, nor Judah, of his power... So it's our, it's our God, our power. Okay? Mosai is always, you know, he always mentions that. He's, you know, our power, the God of Israel. You know? He's not the universal God of everybody. He's not there. He's God over all people, but he ain't the God of everybody. You know? He never, he never revealed himself to the other nations to be worshipped, man. Okay? That time's going to come, though. You know? Yep. Of um, Yahweh of hosts. Though their land was filled with the sin against the Holy One of Israel, flee out of the midst of Babylon and deliver every man his soul. Be not cut off in her iniquity, for this is the same. This is the time of the Lord's vengeance. He will render unto her a recompense. Okay, so we're being told to flee. Okay, and this is not talking in, in a, a physical sense where you are you are running hot countries and shit. Okay. Mentally and spiritually, you gotta be, you know, detach yourself from this place, man. Okay, not be in love with it, man. Like the rest of these idiots are, man. You know, being in love with this kingdom, okay, riding for this kingdom, man. Okay, this kingdom is gonna be destroyed, man. There's no point in riding for it. Okay, there's nothing but evil, wickedness in this place, man. You can't be riding for this type of kingdom, man. Okay, the scripture tells you that this is not our rest. Got it. You got it there. Micah two and ten. Arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest, because it is polluted, it shall destroy you, yeah. even with a sore destruction. This place is polluted, man. Okay, and it only defiles those that are, uh, are a part of it, man. Okay, so if you're, you know, synced up with this with this society, man, you're polluted, man. Okay, you gotta yeah. detach yourself from this place, man, and put your trust, you know, your put yourself in these scriptures, man. Okay, and, and think about the kingdom to come. And you know, ride for that. You know, so if you're in that mentality, man, you, you want this place to go down. Okay? Yeah, this is verse 7. Babylon have been a golden cup in the Lord's hand. Oh, slucky, man. Uh, get, get a precept for me quickly. Oh. Um, Revelations 18 and 4. Uh, this is uh, Revelations chapter 18 verse 4 it says and I heard another voice from heaven saying come out of her my people right my people Israel right okay we've been told to come out of her man like I said not in a physical you know sense but in a spiritual one yep that ye be not partakers of her sins <laughs> that's right that ye receive not of her plagues yeah, so you know we're actually gonna be we actually gonna, well, we're gonna be taken out physically when the chariots arrive, mm -hmm. okay? And you're gonna hear that when um, you're gonna hear that voice say come out come out of her man, mm -hmm. okay? And we're gonna get beamed up into the ships, okay? But prior to that man, the only way we can escape or you know detach ourselves or you know we read before flee, okay? Is to, is to disassociate ourselves with this place man, okay? And wait upon the Lord. Because we're going to be physically taken out of this place at some point, you know? For the brothers out there in, in the Americas and, you know, they're going to be taken up, okay? Yep. Uh, back in uh, Jeremiah 51. Come on, yeah. 
and uh, seven. It says, Babylon hath been a golden cup in the Lord's hand that made all the earth drunken. The nations have drunken of her wine, therefore the nations are mad. All right, so Esau's had a good time, man. Esau for white people have been ruling this earth for a while now, you know, and you've had your, your, your you know, your... Um... Time to rule. Yeah, you had your time to rule, man, but you had your, your, your pin-up child, man, America, man. You know, and with America, you, just, you know, you, you did a lot of um, bullshit, man. Mm -hmm. You know, in, under the guise of being righteous and that, you know, and you, you spread your, your philosophies, your wicked philosophies. Propaganda. You know, propagandas, man. That's why you got homosexuals running around, man. Transgenders running around. You know, you're changing, you know, all the the natural order, the Messiah set up, man. Okay. Under, 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 you know, under the guise of, you know, in intellect and, and yeah. evolution and all this kind of, you know, bullshit you, you, you speak about, man. Okay, the, most of that is coming from America, man. Mm -hmm. You know, it's that pinnacle place on the earth, man, that's been set up in this current time. Okay, this is why it's being referenced as Babylon, man, because Babylon was, at its time, the, the pinnacle of, you know, <laughs> mankind, you know. Yeah, politically, um, you know, and... Um you know, even economically, you know, they around the different uh, lesser, so-called lesser nations, they adapted the ways of America. All right, whether it be socially, economically, they all adopted their their currency. They all adopted their customs, and um, by doing so, they affected the um, the social norms in those countries or the native. Um, customs of those countries in which people became um, you know the equivalent of, of Hellenized, Hellenized you know or, um, uh, or basically um, what's the word I'm looking for basically they just um, democratized now yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> democracy is, is, the, is, the, is the new term that they use that they're attacking well they're attacking Venezuela right now Talking about communism and socialism is, is is dead. So you know they got they got to step in because they're the they're, they're the, the the righteous soul of the earth. Mm. Got to step in in Venezuela to feed yeah, starving yeah. people, even though you're the reason why they're starving. Yeah. <laughs> you, you, you're the devil, man. Regarding you know? Venezuela, the the true reason why they they have an interest to go over there is one is because um, they want to gain control over all uh, over as much of the uh, world economy and number two is that Maduro and certain other people were redistributing some of the, the the country's wealth to the native people and that removed it from the power of the few which were you know uh, so-called uh, foreign nations all right which that upset those that those elite few now they're trying to gain it back by um, usurping it back that power over, over that dominance you know so America was that golden cup and they 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 were they were benefiting off of their fraudulence their hypocrisy and their propaganda to invade these different countries and gain um, take away a man's heritage as the scripture says but we 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 can see now it's it's becoming more there's only so far that Esau's going to be able to to um, continue and keep that light up and everyone's starting to see this devil be revealed upon the um the closer and closer we get to his judgment he's he's gonna he's not able to 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 do the things that he once was doing you know it's slowing down now all right the only success he's gonna have is the limitation which is uh, of of prophecy which allows him to fulfill the prophecy but beyond that he's, he's not given that uh power anymore well, he's, 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 well, he's never been able to do nothing beyond his, the prophecies anyway but you know but you know what America is doing right now man it's all, it's all desperation you know America is a dying place man can't you know America wasn't isn't the same place it once was man it's losing its hegemony in the earth mm -hmm. okay with the, with the you know the, the new axis of, of, of powers you know and Venezuela is, is a desperate move man to control resources because Venezuela is you know um, rich in oil Okay, and they're gonna need oil to fight a war, man. You know, so they, they're trying to confiscate that, have a control of a public government in Venezuela, because you know, 
uh, President Maduro and you know um, Hugo Chavez, who was there before him. You know, they they you know they didn't get over America, man. Okay, and you know everyone knew that when Chavez died that America were going to try and make moves in, in, inside to gain control, man. And that was always the 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 fault. And that's what Maduro has been sitting there trying to fend off this whole fucking time. But America's influence is strong. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And and now it has the people on their side. You know, a lot of them on their side, man. And they they're causing the riots and and um, what do they call that? Um, you know, dissent against the current government. So they're trying to put this other. You know, they're trying to say, "Oh, we've got a new president. Let this guy come into power." But no one knows who the fuck he is. <laughs> yeah, and they're using. You know, but he's an American puppet. They're using um, surrounding nations such as uh, what was those two surround Brazil and uh, uh, Colombia. Colombia, that's it. Mm. They're using those two nations and dominating them, um, using them as puppets based upon you know their exports, their need for um, foreign exports. They don't want to get sanctioned, and they're economically owned by um, the West. So therefore. When the West pulls their strings, they're able to. Now there's a news article, recent news, telling you that they um, they're you sending so-called aid for Venezuelan people via those two different point, those two different countries, and they're you know they're resisting or ignoring Maduro's requests not to intervene, intervene, and mm -hmm. so forth. Or they're also using um, the fact that because in 2015 the the economic the 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 economic um, setup over there in Venezuela was rigged so that the oil they weren't able they got sanctioned and they wasn't able to sell their oil um, to the extent that they wanted it had an effect on the um, local economy Venezuelan economy which caused a lot of people to flee into Colombia and uh, Brazil and they tried to use that as a president to um, to say we've got to go over there and create stability somehow because it's affecting our economies. So it's just a um, manipulation. Yeah, it's, to, it's, it's to, what Esau does, man. He does that divide and conquer shit. You know, he, he is the problem, but he's the answer. You know, but you, you won't see him as the problem, but he's the reason for why shit's going on. But he comes with the solution. So, you know, they, you know, they get the backing to go in and intervene, take, take guys out of power and all that kind of shit, just mm -hmm. like they did to Gaddafi and... It's the same shit. It's the same shit he does over and over again, man. To to try and uh, uh, still 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 resources, man. Still land the shit. Yeah. And basically, like another thing is, America was, you know, the main hub for any news reports when it comes to um, the narrative. America could always control the narrative through the media, and they would have people would watch the Americans as someone to look up to around these four different lesser nations or different nations around the world. So then they would look at their news and anything that America would say, they would take for truth, you know. Thus, we gave you an example of Venezuela being one of them. But, you know, most of these sheeple out here, you know, still to this day, even though it's blatant in your face, you know, we have eyes to see it, but... The average person will still take America's word for it, and that's the... Buy into that narrative. You know. Uh, yeah, jump back in there. Yeah, it says, uh, Jeremiah 51 and 8. Babylon is suddenly fallen and destroyed. How for her, take balm for her pain. Oh, Salaki, I'll jump the gun. Uh, verse 7. Babylon hath been a golden cup in the Lord's hand that had, that made all the earth drunken. Mm -hmm. The nations have drunken of her wine, therefore the nations are mad. It's all of America's ways, okay. This is what I think we just started talking about for <laughs> Venezuela, but you know, the, you know, these other nations are taking on the ways of, of, of how America do things and shit. You know, like I said, look up to America and trying to fill the image to be prosperous. You know, mm -hmm. yep. Uh, Babylon is suddenly fallen and destroyed. How for her? Take balm for her pain. If so, be she may be healed. Right. Yeah. Continue. Yeah. Uh, we would have healed Babylon but she is not healed forsake her and let us go everyone into his own country okay so what's happening right now to, to this whole kingdom this whole you know Edomite kingdom is irre irreversible man mm -hmm. okay it's, it's going down and it's 
can, can continue to go down into it's in the dirt into it's nothing okay there's no recovery inside there's no none of that is going to materialize man okay these guys can't do shit to to slow down the process or, or do anything like that man or reverse it they can't do shit like that man okay the most i has it going down the fucking drain okay and that's where it's going to go down the fucking drain okay most has got judgments waiting for america man Okay, and that is where it's heading to. Okay. Yep. Yep. It says, um, but she is not healed. Forsake her and let us go, everyone, into his own country, for her judgment reaches unto heaven, and is lifted up even to the skies. Okay, so they got a tab that's fucking humongous, man. Okay, that. Esau, America, you know, they all have to pay for, man. Okay, that's why there is no exempting, you know, or is, that, is that the right word? You know, they can't escape the judgment, man. There's no way. You can't bargain for that. You've done too much on the earth, man. Okay? Yeah. You've done too much. You had all this time to do right, <laughs> and you still ain't doing it right, man. Okay, so you're done. Yep. Uh, precepts. Cut. Uh, Seventeen and sixteen. This is Revelation seventeen, verse sixteen. It says, uh, "And the ten horns which thou sawest upon the beast, these shall hate the whore, and shall make her desolate and naked, and shall eat her flesh and burn her with fire." So basically, the allies or the older allies of um, you know um, America all right the you know people the EU and um, different nations that are attached to NATO they're gonna turn on America and they're gonna hate what the whole which is America okay and um, basically you know they they, 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 they once were uh, hypnotized by America's ways but then ultimately that spells being broken and um, America's gonna suffer the consequences of their actions. Yeah, yeah, Jeremiah 51 and uh, ten. 10. It says, The Lord hath brought forth our righteousness. Come and let us declare in Zion the work of the Lord our power. So the word goes out in Zion, man. You know, this work goes out in Zion. It doesn't go out to the whole world. It's for, it's for Zion because the Lord has not forsaken Judah or, or his God or Israel. Okay, that's what we just read in verse 5. Okay, so the word goes out in Zion. It's not meant for the whole world to sit there and believe that you know, they can be saved. Okay, that, that's not who it's for. Yeah, let's continue. It says verse 11 make bright the arrows gather the shields of the Lord gather the shields the Lord hath raised up the spirit of kings the, of the kings of the Medes okay which represents the Russians today okay and that's why you know they're the big superpowers at play in in four minutes World War three okay yep for his device is against Babylon to destroy it okay so he's been set up for them to destroy it Okay, that's why we say the nuclear missiles is what's going to destroy America. You know, it's most size judgment. We ain't going to go there and do nothing to America. <laughs> hey, we ain't got no missiles, man. You know, but Russia do. Okay, and, and you know, not just Russia only, but all their allies. Also, the allies of America, they're going to shoot the missiles like the brother just read in Revelation, man. They're going to, they're going to turn their back on America and mm -hmm. aim at it too. All because of the spirit of the Heavenly Father, man. Mm -hmm. You're going to put the spirit on them to do that. Okay, it doesn't seem likely now, but you know, right this minute. But like I said, these people are not in control of shit. Okay, Mosai is in control. So when that day comes and the Mosai put that spirit upon them, that's exactly what they're gonna do. They're gonna look at America and press that fucking button, man, and send all they got over there to destroy it. Okay. Yep. For his devices against Babylon to destroy it, because it is the vengeance of the Lord. The vengeance of his temple. The vengeance of his temple. Who's who's he avenging? Who's he you know, yeah, who's he revenging or avenging? The nation of Israel, his temple. <laughs> you know, for everything that he's done. 
you know? Uh, okay. You know, this is, this is only going to be a quick one, so, you know, might as well end it there. You know, but the point is, man, this is the Lord's vengeance that's taking place in this, or is taking place in this place. You know, and there's nothing that can be done to, to change that. You know, it, you, we can we watch it things are just getting worse. <laughs> you know, things are not getting any better. And that's exactly how it should be. You know, you got people out here, you know, desperate to change things, to make things great again. All these slogans, make, make America great again, or, you know, United Britain, and all this kind of bullshit, man. It ain't gonna work, man. It's, you, you, I see it's through, man. Okay, there, there is no plan or you know an exit plan or any any plan, because the only plan that's being executed right now is the plan of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. Okay, these scriptures, the word. Okay, it's, it's happening exactly as these scriptures have, have you know have foresaid. Okay, so you know here you know Brexit what March, March something, mm -hmm. hey, and Britain a. Hey, Everybody in Britain, man, is gonna go for a fucking tough time, man. Once that happens, man. Yeah. Okay, ourselves included. <laughs> you know, we're gonna go for yeah. some tough times, man. But that's good because that's the way we want it. Okay, because we want this place to go down, man. Okay, ASAP. Things have to get worse before they get better, man. That's right, man. You know? Some way, somehow, we weather the storm. You know, through the power of Yahweh by Shimi Yahweh Shai. Mm. You know, but it has to be this way, man. Okay, and we're not scared. It has to happen. We want the kingdom of heaven, man. So this has to happen, man. Okay, so we're happy that it's happening. As hard as it may be, you know, uncomfortable as it may be, when it all goes down, it's what we want. <laughs> so we can't complain about it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know, we have to just, you know, suck that up, man. You know, just deal with it. But, but yeah, you got something there? Uh, no, I'm not going to. No? Okay. Okay, yeah, so no, with that, okay, you know, we'll close up, man. You know, we just keep we keep watch, man. And um, yeah, you know, time's coming, man. Time's coming. So yeah, anyway, yeah, shalom, man. Y'all bashimi al shabakafah. Y'all bashimi al shabakafah. Shalom. Shalom.